Okay, now it's time for the change. Okay, what we're going to do, um, again, we're going to take a copy of this, and we're going to create our new plugin. So let's add a new item. Let's call it uh, the change. And uh, let's paste it in. And then let's just change a couple of things. So again, see these errors have now all started appearing. It's because we're referencing the wrong thing. So we need to change this to the change. Oops. And uh, we need to change this to the change. There we go. And watch now. All the errors are gone. Well, besides the JSON properties one. I also don't need this Unity uh, engine. So let's get rid of that. Okay, so the change, what we're going to do in this one is we're going to uh, access a file and uh, we're going to change it. Well, actually, we're not accessing the file, we're going to access the config. We're going to change a value in the config. And to do that, one thing that we should really set up is a permission. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to um, change our string, which is going to be rep. Uh, we're going to just change the details of this. We're going to change it to a bool, right? Bool. Okay. We're going to change this to bool. And rep now will cause an error because what bool is, bool is true or false, yes or no. Um, and what it's seeing is this is the reply to set, uh, that is set in the convict. So uh, we're going to get rid of that. And it doesn't need to be in quotations. We're going to write, uh, we're going to go true. Okay. There we are. So it's got a default value. What we're going to do then as well is because we are changing something in the config, we don't want people to uh, just have free access to that. We're going to add a permission. So our permission is going to go into the init and we're going to write permission dot uh, register permission. And then we're going to do a bracket quotation and we're going to call it the change, which is the name of the plugin. And I would always suggest keeping it, the first part, the same as the plugin name. If you don't, it will fire up an error in Archon and programs like Permissions Manager or Admin Panel or whatever it is, um, won't see the permission for this um, plugin. Okay. The permission itself, we're going to call Admin. Okay, so if you had multiple permissions, you can set multiple permissions up. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but for this case, we're going to call this admin, and then we're going to just say this. Boom. There we are. There is now a permission set up on this, um, on this console. Okay, for this one, I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to have to load in the game. We're going to get rid of this uh, conf test. Boom. And then everything else is the same as the config. Okay, so as I said, copying and pasting the config is great. What I'm going to do in this scenario is I'm going to go here and I'm going to go region, region, uh, config. Okay, and then at the end of the region, I'm going to go hashtag end region. Okay. And the reason I can do that is because from this point on, there'll be a little box here, and I can go, Doop, and the whole thing's gone. It's not gone, it's just minimized. See? You can do it with various parts. Okay, so let's um, let's first of all write a, a chat command, and let's fancy that up a bit. Or actually, let's... Uh, yeah, let's write a chat command and let's fancy it up. So we're going to have to load up the game anyway. So chat command. And we're going to do uh, one called conf check. Conf check. Don't know why I put a capital C in. Doesn't really matter. We'll get to change the lowercase anyway. Ooh. Silly me. Okay. There. Right. Oh, what am I doing? Right, so uh, let's make a void. Void. Uh, chat conf check base player uh, player and I do this let's open up rest so it can load in oh and then 
there's our bracelets. I get in a mess here. Okay, so. Uh, what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to do a send reply. Send reply to the player. Send a re uh, reply to the player. Player. And we're going to make it look a little bit better. So um, what I could do is I could just write uh, config data dot rep. Okay. And all the player will see is a uh, reply that just says true or false. Why is that error? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make it look a little bit fancy, and the way that we're going to make it look a little bit fancy is we're going to use the dollar symbol. Okay. Now the dollar symbol means that anything within brackets like this is uh, a bit of data that we're going to pull in from somewhere else in layman's terms. So what I can do is I can say uh, the config data is or oh, the config value, sorry, value is and then da -da -da -da, config data dot rep okay and it'll say then if it's true or if it's false so the player will see the config value is true or false okay and uh, let's make another command then so we're going to do a um, check command and we're going to call it uh, change just for the sake of it um, let's make a void called change and we're going to do base player, because it's going to the player. And then we're going to see if the player has permissions. Okay, so we're going to write if. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if the permission if the player doesn't have permissions. Because an if statement is written if something, then this bit is true, and then this bit is false. Okay, so what I want to do is uh, say if the player hasn't got the oops permissions mission dot user has permission no, if I do that we'll catch up and then do a player there we go see player has dot uh, user ID capital U capital ID We'll put that to a string, to string, uh, and then uh, we're going to name the permission. So we're going to call the, the permission that we're using. So it's called the change dot admin. That's what we called it. Let's uh, close off our brackets. And I spot permission wrong. Pre mission. If pre mission. Yeah. See, no more errors. So. If the player has has not got the permission, so that um, explanation mark reverses the bool, right? So if the player hasn't got the permission, then we're going to say send reply. Oops, I can't type today. Reply to the player, and this is just going to be a text one, which is going to say you do not have the Permission, permission to use this command. And then we're going to say return. Okay, now a return is like closing the door. It stops any other code from running. So if the player has got the permission though, okay, so what we're doing is an if statement, this is the value if it's true, this is the value if the statement is false. Now you can reverse this, this is fine. But if the player hasn't got the permission, see, by, by putting this expiration mark in, we're checking that they haven't got the permission, then uh, this would be true. Yes, they do not have the permission. And this would be false. No, they do have the permission. See? Um, what we're going to do then is we're going to uh, give another example of that. So if I do config data dot rep um, is equal to, so we're going to change the value. And because it's true or false, it's either or. So what I can do is I can say that it's equal to the reverse of itself. So config data dot rep. Okay, so what I've done there is I've put in that explanation mark and we're just switching it around. Okay, 
The last thing we need to do then is to save uh, the change to the config. So we're going to go save config, config data, with a capital D. Okay. And then uh, we're going to send a reply. Send a reply uh, to the player. And in this case, I'm going to give you another example. And I'm going to say the config data was changed from, and now, because it's the other way around, I'm going to say uh, config data dot rep. And I'm going to say to config data dot rep. Put in our uh, quotation and then close it off. And I forgot the comma. There we are. See? Player, comma. There you go. So, uh, what we're doing is if the player has permission. If, yeah, if our player has the permission, we're going to go straight down to here. We're going to take our config data dot rep, which is the current value in the config, which is now in here, which is true. And we're going to switch it over to be false. Okay. And then while that's loading, I can go to my dev machine. Thank you. And then we're saving the config. So now in the config, it will say that it's false. And then we're going to say send a reply to the player and we're going to put the config data was changed from and now that it's false we need the offset so we're going to say turn around and we're going to say config data dot rep which will say true to config data dot rep which will be false okay this is very confusing i know but you will get the hang of it and you'll start to see things happen quite easy. So uh, I'm going to save that. And uh, we're going to go back to our plugins. And we're going to drop in the change. OK. The change should compile. Yep. It will create a new config. That config is over here. Config. Uh, refresh. And we got it here the change. So our bool is true. Okay, server's just uh, booted in and uh, I will see you over there. Okay, so here we are in game. Da -da -da. Here's me. Okay, so uh, what were the commands that we set? The commands that we set were um, we did conf check and change. So First of all, if I go here and I do conf uh, check, there we are. It says the config value is true. Okay, so we did the config value is config data dot rep. See, and because we've got this, we filled in that gap with whatever the config is. Now, if I go back to the game and I say, uh, what was the command? We just change slash change. Okay, it should say you do not have permission to use this command which is perfectly correct. We don't have the permission. I haven't granted it to myself. So I'm going to do o.grant user mic uh, the change dot admin. I'm also going to get rid of the extra e. Boom. Right. Now I've got the command, the, the permission, sorry. And if I do change, there we are. We now have a symbol, say, uh, the uh, reply, the config data was changed from true to false. Now, we knew it was true, and now it should be false, and we can do a check. What was it? Config check? Conf check. I can't remember what I wrote. There we are, and it says the config value is false. And uh, if we go and look at our um, live data here, which is the configuration and um, the config file for the change if I now click refresh it says false so it has saved it as false and again if I do um, conf change oh whatever it was what was the <laughs> what was the command uh, it was just change if I just do slash change uh, change there we are it's set from false to true and we'll go back again and we'll press refresh and there we are, it's true. There we are, that's it for this episode anyway. And I will see you on the next one. Ooh, Discord.